Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be going over almost all of my old webhook videos and fixing them. Um, if you didn't watch um, one of my videos explaining what happened in the Discord webhooks and why they aren't working anymore, I've still been getting like a lot of complaints about my old videos not working. Either because it's just not sending in the actual game or the Heroku proxy is not deploying properly, which... Is the most recent problem but i'm going to be going over all of that and how to fix most of those videos starting with my most popular video um we're going to be using this webhook site right here i am not even going to attempt to pronounce that but basically all it is is replacing discord.com with this right here you click get started and just copy that like that so in my most popular video, which is the first one I'm going over, I made a script called Rowhook, which is a server script that allows you to um, send Discord webhook messages using just that script. And then in another video, I created a webhook service module, which is what you'll see right here. I fixed this up and made it work for this right here. Make sure you put this module in server storage or server script service. Do not put it in anything that the client can actually view. Um, yeah, and I'm going to, I'm going to be going over how to use this now. So it's really simple, actually. So you just want to insert a script and then define HTTP service. So local HTTP equals game, get service, HTTP service. And then you want to define your webhook. So local webhook equals, and you can get your webhook by going to your discord server, going to server settings going to integrations webhooks and creating one i already have one which is spidey bot right here uh and you want to copy the url like that and then paste it right here and now delete discord.com it should be in the link right there discord.com and replace it with this note that's right here this webhook dot that dot dev and then put it right there and then that's your webhook link finished now, we also want to require the webhook service module. Doing that, we can just do local webhook service equals require script.parent.webhook service. That simple. And then we can do webhook service create message URL test. Or no, it's not called URL. Webhook and then test. So now, once we run the game, it'll send to this channel right here the word test. So let's go ahead and test. As you can see right here, it sent test. I'm gonna update this module and leave the link to it in the description again, just in case um, none of you guys got it yet. Uh, you can also do M's, M embed messages right here, URL, title, message, image. So let me go ahead and show you that. So we can do create embed, and then we do the webhook URL, title, I'll make the title like, uh, this is an embed like that. Uh, the message will make that. Uh, this is a message. The image is optional. I yeah, the image is optional. You don't have to add that. And then once we go ahead and click play, it should send it right here. Hold on. Oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't close it off. I added a comma, so it was expecting something else, but nothing. So yeah, you get the, this is an embed, this is a message. You can also add an image, which is really simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. All right, so I'm here on Google, and I'm going to say I want to add an image of a landscape to the embed, and say let's take this image. All you have to do is right-click and click Copy Image Address, go to Roblox Studio, and add another, so after you have your message, add a comma and then another string, and paste the image address right there. And then go ahead and click play, and then it'll send right here with that picture. And it's that easy. Um, this module can actually be very useful for a lot of stuff, so you don't have to keep typing out, like every time you wanna send like a webhook message, you don't have to keep typing out over and over. You can just do it in one line just like that. Um, now I'm gonna be going over the next video. Now, the next video I'm going to be going over is my Roblox admin panel with Discord webhook logging video. 
um, a lot of people have problems with it not logging or sometimes people just ban themselves and don't know how to unban themselves. So I'm going to be going over that. So um, I'm going to be releasing this updated version just like the last one with this new webhook service module that, you know, and this. So it's basically the same thing. You paste your web, you paste your Discord webhook URL and then replace it discord.com with this right here. And then people also add me, ask me how to make yourself an admin. All you have to do is in this table right here that says admins is put your user ID just like that. And then if you want to add someone else, you put a comma and then their user ID and it's simple. Um, so yeah, and let's go ahead and play and let's see. So if I go ahead and go here to the admin panel, select myself, test, and then kick myself, I'll say you have been kicked test. And if I go to the server, Luiscape has been, has kicked Luiscape for test. So yeah, not all of these log actually, but you can make them log by simply just adding the line like that. So just add like if log commands equals true, then create message or create embed like that. If you ban yourself, which I mean, I don't blame you. You, just, you want to test if it works. You select your name, test, and then ban. And then you'll be, you see it took a minute because it actually added it to the data store. And we banned. It'll say Lewis escape, ban Lewis escape for test. To unban yourself, you want to either uh, get this plugin right here for 25 Robux called Data Store Editor. Uh, and then you can, the, you want to put the data store name, which is just bans. As you can see right here, it says uh, ban data store equals data store service get data store bans. So put the data store name right there, bans. And then where it says key, you want to put your user ID, paste the key there. And then it, sees, it says true because I'm actually banned. And you can just delete that. And then I won't be banned anymore. Another thing you can do is change the name of this. So let me go ahead and ban myself again. Because, you know, that plugin... It's actually a very useful plugin. I use it a lot. So do this test ban myself. And then now that I'm banned, I can either change the name like that, or I can add a comma and then a one. I think that still works. Yeah. And then that comma in one basically wipes the entire data store. It you change the name. It just basically changes the data store like that. And yeah. And you set it back, you remove the comma one, then it goes back to the old data store. And then you'll still be banned on that data store. You can also use remove async, which is, uh, I think you do this, I believe. And then uh, I think it's a banned data store, remove async. And then uh, you do the user ID like that. And I th think that might be how it works. I'm not 100% sure though. Let me check now. Yeah, so you can just do that. You can just paste the data store, like definition, get service data store service, the ban data store, and then ban data store, remove async, and then your user ID. And it'll unban you specifically. Um, now on to the next video. So now this, I actually haven't made a video on, but a lot of people ask me how to do this like 24 seven. And that is how to make a join slash leave log. And I, the reason I haven't made a video on this is because it is not recommended you do this at all. Because if your game has a lot of people joining and leaving, like if your game is really popular and you have a join and leave log for some reason, I don't know why we, why you would need that. But if you do have it and it's being spammed constantly, then you could get your Discord account banned, your webhook deleted, or some other enforcement action. But I'm going to show you guys how to do this anyways. But I'm just warning you, do not do this if your game has high traffic. So you don't have to use my module, but I'm going to use it for simplicity since I usually use it in the, my games that I use it in. So you want to do that and then insert a script like that. So insert the webhook service module and then the script. 
define uh, your webhook uh, link. So URL equals, and I'll put that there later. And you want to create a function. You want to check when a player joins. So you can just do that by game dot players dot player added connect function, and then player. And this player right here is the player who joined the game. And then another one for game.players.player removing connect function player. And then this is the player who left. So let's define webhook uh, service too. So local webhook service equals require script.parent.webhook service. And all you have to do is do webhook service, create message, or end. Uh, embed whatever you want and i'm just going to do url and player dot name has joined the game now what i did right here player dot name will get the player's name and these two dots is concatenation which will add it to this string right here so basically if i join the game it'll be blue escape has joined the game it will say it like that but this is going to put it for your username and you can do the exact same thing right here, but then just put as left the game, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my webhook uh, URL. Remember, like I said, to do this, paste your webhook URL, and then you wanna go into this webhook service script right here, copy this right here, this webhook dot, dot dev, delete discord.com, and then replace it with that. And then that should be all. So, you want to go ahead and play the game and join the game. You get the message, Lou Escape has joined the game and stop. And then once I stop leaving, it'll say, or once I stop the game, it'll say Lou Escape has left the game. It is that simple, but like I said, do not do this if your game has high traffic. I don't know why you would want a join slash leave log anyways. You could do it if your game's not popular, but if it ends up starting getting the popular, if, if it ends up starting to get popular, then... I'd recommend you remove this because it's really useless anyways. But a lot of people ask me how to do it. So yeah. If this video helped you any, you can join my Discord server. Link in the description below. And get help in this coding help channel right here. Um, you can like the video, subscribe. Anything will help. And yeah.